What is going on, glorious audience members, and welcome to another episode of Today in Warframe. The last couple of these I've done have been received pretty well, and there's some stuff going on in the Warframe community today, so I figured why not cover it in the capacity that I understand it. We've got a few hot stories today, so without further ado, let's jump in. In our first story, the Warframe community has been set ablaze these past few days after a recent nerf to the Smita Kavad ability Charm. For those of you unfamiliar with Charm, it's essentially a Swiss army tool of awesome skills that allows your Kavad to perform one of several actions, which include, but are not limited to, giving your weapons guaranteed red crits for a short period, reducing the casting cost of your Warframe powers to zero periodically, giving you an instant weapon reload, and generating double pickups, as well as dropping a rare resource for the current planet you're on. Now, the first couple of abilities are pretty fantastic, mind you, but a lot of people were relying on the quick and reliable resource generation to farm some of the harder to get rare resources in the game, and with the introduction of our last few pieces of gear, believe me when I say that you need all the resources you can get currently because crafting costs of a lot of these items are skyrocketing for some reason. Anyway, like pretty much any nerf in the history of Warframe, this has been met with quite a lot of resistance from the community, and if I had to throw my opinion in the ring, I'd say that they're pretty justified. Even I've been pretty surprised lately to find that the crafting requirements for a lot of different things I build regularly have been switched around. The gist of all this, though, is that people are extremely upset that due to this nerf, we've really lost our only reason to not bring Carrier with us, and time and again, this has been the case. Every time a new companion is released, it's nerfed into the ground, and Carrier slash Carrier Prime rises above to keep its comfy little place in our inventory slots. Our next story focuses on the boys over at Rooster Teeth, specifically the Achievement Hunter team. It seems DE is back at it again with the paid sponsorships, and this time, they have asked Achievement Hunter to do a promotion event for Warframe. I'm pretty interested to see what they have to say about it because the last time a bunch of larger content creators played Warframe, it generated a lot of attention for the game. Currently, they're planning on, and I quote, kicking it classic style with some campaign, whatever that means, then kicking it on over to the new Lunaro game mode for some good old sports and ballin'. Exciting. We'll have to see how this turns out, and as a side note, I'm interested to see what you guys think about DE paying larger non-dedicated content creators to play their game kind of interesting, isn't it? And lastly, our final story of the day centers around the practice of data mining, which for those of you unfamiliar with the term, it's simply defined as the practice of examining large databases in order to generate new information. Basically, data mining is how we know pretty much everything about an update, a warframe, a weapon, or really anything new before it's released. Data miners dig into files and pull out weapon stats, quest dialogue, mod text, weapon ability stats, and so on. In the case of our story today, a well-known data miner whom I will not name recently pulled the entire list of Day of the Dead skins and released them to Reddit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was fairly upset over this. We don't really get a lot of new content in Warframe very often, and it seems like all the things we do get are instantly spoiled for us through data mining. For example, days before Necros Prime Access was released, we already knew pretty much everything about the items in it. By the time it came out, nothing was really a surprise, and at the end of the day, I have to ask what the point of all of it is. It reminds me of being a kid and sneaking downstairs to see what my Christmas presents were. I always remember being disappointed the next morning because there was nothing to surprise me. But I digress. Personally, I think data mining is something we can do without, but a lot of the Warframe community seems to see it as something important and necessary to enjoy the game. Lastly, I'd like to know what you guys think about data mining. Is it bad? Is it good? Are you totally indifferent? Let me know in the comments. But that's all the news I got for today, folks. As I mentioned throughout the video, I'm interested to hear your guys' opinions on what we talked about today, and while you're doing that, consider leaving a like on this video if you enjoyed watching it. Additionally, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos daily, and there's always something to talk about on this channel. Until next time, though, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.